I was always interested in loops and things that seemed uh, unconnected with nature, but but were connected. And so I, I guess what everybody likes to do or has maybe done, joined a band and uh, still in this band, a single voice. And uh, I haven't always done music that I like, but that's a, a part of being in a band that you uh, delve into things that the band wants as a unit, not not as uh, one individual saying, oh no, I'm not going to ever do country music because now I like country music, or at least Stomping Tom. And uh, so I, I sing in a single voice, and um, I enjoy singing. And for me, that connects back to uh, writing. I also write, none of which uh, I've produced or let too many people see or read. But uh, maybe in the future that will, that will change. I got my degree in in um, fine art at the University of Guelph, and uh, my main uh, medium for graduating was drawing, and uh, I appreciated. Uh, some of the, the people that, that taught me what they had to teach and um, they taught me well I think that, that uh, drawing has affected just the way I think about building things and presenting things and uh, the question of uh, borders frames um, hanging work instead of uh, spinning it or f filming it or taping it and how to present a work and that the presentation is as much a part of that and so that again goes back to f performance art because in my mind performance art dictates that uh, doing the doing the piece of art is as much a part of art as the as a final product if there is one in my case I like to have a final product I don't I th a lot of people like DK art and uh, throw away art and things that are documented only and then the documentation is thrown away as a piece of performance all of these things I don't I'm not yet or ever will be interested in I'd like to talk about the, the three paintings that are included in this program at that were have been shown at Ed Video. Um, there are recent paintings which I, I'm pr proud of because I don't paint. I paint regularly, but not at, not. Um, it goes in spurts, and when it, the spurt runs out, then that's it. And the spurt may only incorporate three paintings, so. I'm glad that I've done some paintings this year because I'm out of school now and that's nice and it's hard to paint when you're out of school. Self-motivation I find difficult so I surround myself with projects and things but uh, 
that's a different thing altogether. But the two paintings that I that I'll talk about first are are two large paintings for me. They're not large paintings actually. Um, done on wood, the wood that I found uh, in the garbage. But they're nice pieces of wood. They were cupboard doors, and I painted on them. They're nice wood too cedar or something. And um, the one that is uh, uh, vertical, I think it's called car, um, is of a car speeding around a bend. And it looks quite precarious whether this car will make it um, or drive off into the deep blue sea over the edge. And the, uh, the other painting is uh, horizontally hung, uh, a, mid a midnight scene, kind of, with a, a luminous moon in, in the sky with a, some cloud cover with uh, two cars parked at, at their um, respective houses. And I have an, an, an interest in uh, vehicles and how they are parked beside houses and homes. And I've always had an interest in, in, in home and what a home is and um, f homelessness. And without transport, people without transport. And it's funny to walk through uh, some suburbias, like uh, the ward here in Guelph, which is a, ni a kind of a nineteen a nineteen fifties uh, um, post war suburbia um, with an Italian influence where some of the houses are smaller than some of the vehicles parked beside them, like transport trucks and that 's interesting for me because that 's uh, a visual switching of one 's transport with one 's place to hang your hat, like working at a factory, you actually live at the factory and go home to sleep, so home is actually ends up being a factory, and you go to this other place to sort of uh, eat and sleep. And then the, uh, the self-portrait is a, well, whether it's a drawing or a painting is, uh, I use, I, li I like to use um, graphite, Conte, charcoal, and also um, gesso, white acrylic paint, and uh, draw with a brush. And uh, I like the effect. I, d I, uh, I used to do a lot of self-portraits, and um, I'm not in the habit anymore of doing, doing them, but I think they're interesting. I think they're interesting to see by any artist. I don't care, uh, you know, the style. I think um, it's just, really interesting to see a self-portrait. Um, even if I don't like the style that it's done in, you can tell a lot by self-portrait how this person, besides anything about uh, their personality maybe, but just about what they think of art and uh, how they regard art and where they place art in their life. And uh, how how seriously they they um, they intend to to pursue continuing their art. Uh, for me, it's important.